First of all, I had picked the numbers. They are numbers that I play for years, but I very rarely play. And I played and I went to bed, and the next morning when Dave got up. Yeah, I went to go to work, and it was uh, like 6 a.m., and you know, we had just had a, um, a Saturday drawing before, and she had circled all the, the winners on that one. And when I woke up Wednesday, there were no circles on it. Oddly enough, I checked the ticket, and it, everything matched up. So I said, she's messing with me. <laughs> she really is. In the last week, it was we brought the family in. Not so. even your own children or, or relatives knew? Correct. How hard was that to keep it? That was hard. That was really hard. Especially when everyone was saying, you know, you're from Melbourne Beach. Did you win? Do you know who won? And it's like, no. <laughs> and when I went to my friends for CPA, you know, I needed a CPA. I file short form normally. So I had to start soliciting help. And that's a very weird conversation because it spirals into, did you win the Powerball? You know, it's not something you want to divulge right away. We're still going to live the same lives, basically. I mean, my car, my truck's about to fall apart, so I didn't need a vehicle. But he so will retire, and that's what he yeah. really wanted to do.